current uh, So we know that uh, a conductor has a large number of free electrons. And uh, these uh, electrons, when there is no electric field, okay, so when the applied electric field is zero, so in that case, uh, there will be, let's say this electric field that is applied here is zero. So even uh, when this field is zero, uh, because of the thermal agitation, uh, they will be moving about uh, in a random manner. But uh, the average uh, uh, thermal velocity is uh, zero. Okay, so uh, so this is how the conductors will behave when there is no electric field. But uh, when uh, electric field is applied to this conductor. let's say this is the electric field and uh, this is not equal to zero. So in that case uh, a force is uh, applied on this electron. So this is the electron here. So a force is applied which is opposite to the direction of the uh, electric field. So it is in this direction. So these electrons will start moving in this uh, uh, direction now. But uh, the uh, movement of the electrons in a conductor is not same as that uh, of the movement of electrons in free space. Because in free space, uh, if an electric field is applied uh, to this uh, electron, then the force that is acting on the electron is minus uh, E times C, e because minus E is the charge on the electron, and uh, the acceleration of the electron is given by F by M E. Okay. So minus E by M. So that it is uh, subjected to this uh, acceleration and the velocity of the electron will increase continuously. That is in case of free space. But in a conductor, the electron will not be able to move or gain velocity, I mean, um, so what happens here is uh, because of the atomic uh, lattice uh, structure of the conductor, an electron which is uh, moving in this direction, it encounters the atomic lattice structure and uh, here uh, the because of the collision with the lattice structure, the velocity will uh, reduce and uh, the direction also may change. Okay. So, uh, the on the uh, whole, the electrons uh, will not be able to uh, move in a similar manner as they move in case of free space, but they move with a constant average velocity, which is known as drift velocity. So uh, it can be shown that the drift velocity, that is average drift velocity of the electron in a conductor is uh, given by minus E E tau by M E, where M E is the mass of the electron and tau is the average time interval between the collisions. So here tau is the average time interval between collisions. And M is the mass of the electron. So therefore, uh, this is the, and here u is the drift velocity. 
of the electron. So therefore, the conduction current is given by rho v u and the rho v is uh, given by n e times minus e. Here n e is the number of electrons per unit volume. per unit volume and uh, n e into e minus e it gives the charge density that is uh, charge per unit volume and uh, u here is the is given by this expression that is minus uh, okay substitute for uh, rho v here so rho v is given by minus n e into e and uh, u is given by you can see here that it is given by minus e e tau by m e we can have the direction of electric field here here also we will have the direction So you can see that here it is given by n e e square tau by m e into electric field or it is also called as sigma times e. So here sigma is the conductivity of the material. In this case, here it is the conductor. So this uh, law, this expression that is uh, J is equal to sigma E is uh, known as point form of Ohm's law, point form of uh, Ohm's law. With this we will end this session.